Hello and welcome to another episode of Beating the Maths. I am Sor Beaton and we are here at Tushin Primary School attempting to beat the maths. You know why? You mean we come here for beat the maths? You have to beat the maths at this school? Definitely we can beat the maths at Tushin Primary School. Alright, let me go and see. Let's go and beat the maths. So you have a, a guest here with us today. What is your name? Abaskan. Your name is Abaskan? Yeah. And which class are you in? Grade 5 champions. You're in grade 5. So what do you think? You, you, you normally beat the maths or would the maths beat you? I will beat the maths. You will beat the maths? Yeah. Very bad? Yeah. Okay. So you have a question here to test and see if you could beat this maths. Oh. So the question is, which of the following fractions is the same as 11 over 8? And we have some options here. So the floor is yours, Abbas. So explain to me how you will get that answer. So we have to divide 11 by 8. Mm -hmm. And then we will have our answer. So how, what, what, let me see, Take a, walk me through the steps. We have to divide 11 by 8. Mm -hmm. So divide it, let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, three. So, so you have so one, one set here. Mm -hmm. and three. So right here, let me see. So, one, so it should be one. Three over eight. One on three over eight. So we have one set here. We're left with three remaining over the eight. Yeah. Nice, nice. So the answer would be? B. B. Yeah. So we have given a round of applause. Very good. Very good, Abba. Very good. You beat the match, right? All right, so we have our next guest here with us today. Um, what is your name? Jafar Pollard. Jafar? Yeah. Jafar? Yes, sir. You saw that, that name sounds like a name that would normally beat the match. Do you beat the match? Yes. You beat the match very bad? Yeah. Bad, bad, bad? Yeah. All right. So, Jafar, your question is, which of the following fractions is equivalent to 3 over 5? So go ahead, Jafar. The floor is yours. Let me see how you answer this question. What are you so, doing here? First, I'm drawing five. I'm drawing a three over five. You're drawing three over five. Yeah. Okay. I'll shade. I'll shade three squares. Out of the five. All right. How are you doing here now? Now I'm drawing another one. Draw another one. Yeah. So you're dividing it into the same five fours. Mm -hmm. Now I'm putting it into ten. Oh, you're splitting it in half. Okay. Now when I'm found one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So instead of five, we have ten is divided into ten. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm shading these to see if I can get the same amount. Okay. When I put it together. I have one, two, three, four, five, six shaded. Mm -hmm. And when I look up to the to the three over five, it's the same. Oh, it's the same. Okay, the same as the three shaded, but it, okay. So it's six. So it's out six of, over ten. Six out of ten. The answer is a six out of ten. Excellent, 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 excellent. Very, very good. Very good. <laughs> So we have uh, our next guest here with us today. What is your name? Nickel. Nickel. Nickel, which class are you in? I'm in grade six. Grade six. So you're writing the national grade six assessment in a few weeks or months. What do you think? You beat the maths then or the maths will beat you? I'll beat the maths. You beat the maths very bad. Maths doesn't maths stand a chance with you. Okay. So, so your question is, find the size of the angles mark P and R in the diagram below. So go ahead, the floor is yours. Okay. So we see this, once you have this square here, sir, here, sir, so it means that this is um, 90 degrees, 90. it's a right angle. Mm -hmm. So it's 90, and so we have to find for, for P and P. I want to, want to have these markings, mm -hmm. which means these two sides here, here are equal. So the sides are equal, that means the angles are equal as well? Yes. Okay, good. 
Um, so, so here, so it's 90. Here, so it's 90 degrees. So we can go 180. Why, where do you get 180 from? Well, the sum of the interior angles for uh, triangle is 180 degrees. Excellent. So we can um, subtract 90 from 180. It would be zero. So we have 90. Mm -hmm. oh. So what are you doing there? So I'm dividing the 90 into two. Okay. And now divide the 10 into 2, which will be 5. Which will five, be, five. So that will be um. So, so B and P, B and P, both of them is 4 to 5. So because P equals 4 to 5, good. P equals 4 to 5. Good. Next, we want to find for R. Now we have to find for R. So, this is a so we could see that it's a straight line, a straight angle, and it is equal to 180 degrees. Excellent. So, so we don't have P, which is four to five. Mm -hmm. We're gonna subtract it from 180. All right. So I give you five. Mm -hmm. Seven minus four. So one four to five. So R is equal to 145 degrees. Alright. So because this was a straight angle, we subtracted from 4 to 5. Excellent, excellent. No. So you think it This is because this was a straight angle and equals to 180 degrees when we subtract 4 to 5 from 180. And this is you get your answer. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. So I get the wrong one. What do you think? You beat the math or the math? I beat the math. Beat the math. Very, very, very. So we have our next guest here with us today. What is your name? My name is Tarifa. Tarifa. Tarifa, which class are you in? Grade 6. Grade 6. So you're sitting in the National Grade 6 assessment in a few weeks. Uh -huh. What do you think? You beat the maths or the maths beating you? I'll uh, beat the maths. You'll beat the maths? Yeah. 100%. Sure. I think like 90%. 90% sure. Okay. So your question says, item 20 refers to the following diagram which shows 16 circles six of which are shaded so write the fraction of the total number of circles shaded the floor is yours okay. so um there's 16 and mm -hmm. six is already shaded so, so it will be six and 16 here mm -hmm. so you want to reduce it how do you reduce it <gasps> divide by two okay so six 26 is three mm -hmm. And two into sixteen is eight. Mm -hmm. So if we do this back here, so now I'm going to divide this in half. Mm -hmm. So we we'll get six, no eight here, and mm -hmm. three is three is shaded. And three and the shaded as well. Yes. Okay. So the answer is which one? The answer is D. D. Very good. Very good. We think you beat the math or the math? I beat the math. Beat the math. Give her one. So we have our uh, our next guest here with us today. What is your name? Yeda Steer. What is your name? Yeda Steer. Yeda Steer. Uh, which class are you in? Grade six. Grade six. So you're sitting in the grade six exam in a few weeks. What do you think? You beat the maths or the maths beat you? I beat the maths. You beat the maths. You sure? Yeah. Bad, bad, bad. You beat the maths. Yeah. Okay. So your question is: the diagram below shows angles at a given point. So they want you to calculate the size of angle A. So the floor is yours. So first, this symbol represents 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. So you put 90 degrees. You could rest your hand a little bit. Then for 3 degrees, mm -hmm. then 58 degrees, and then add them up. Mm -hmm. 8 and 3 is 11. And then one here. 9 and 1, 10. Mm -hmm. 5 and... Four, nine, nine and ten, nineteen. So you're putting whole nineteen in, alright? Yeah. Then since is a complete rotation mm -hmm. is equal the the angles inside is equal to three sixty degrees. Mm -hmm. 
So you put 360 on the top. Now we do subtraction from the total we just now get. 1, 9 to 1. Then subtract. Alright. A is equal to 169 degrees. 169 degrees. Alright. Yeah. A. A equals. 169 degrees. So you think you think you beat the maths here or the maths beat you? I beat the maths. You think you beat the maths? Yeah, yeah, I think you beat the maths? Yeah. Awesome.